Hey there everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. Super excited to see you in this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you what JavaScript DOM is exactly about and what are we going to talk about and what we are going to do in this course, right? So what is DOM? Okay, so you would have seen this basic uh, web code, okay, HTML code. If you have not, uh, just go look at it or just just look at me doing it here. You have HTML, HTML, head, body, blah, 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 all right? To put it simple, HTML code is wrapped within the HTML tags. It has the head tag, it has the body tag where the main content goes in, okay? There is H1 and there is P, each of them having its own functionality, all right? So if this is the HTML code, okay? And we are asking the browser to show this code or to render this code in technical terms all right so that is how the user is going to use it right there is a html file and when the user opens it either through his local laptop or to, by going to a website or something that html page is going to load so when it loads the browser builds a document object model okay it builds like a hierarchical structure like this out of this code so what you see here is a representation of this code so let's just go through it so you see that HTML wraps all other elements so it is like the parent of all the elements and its direct children are head and body so its direct children are head and body and body has two children at the same level, so okay, two children, which are H1 and P, H1 and P, okay? So you can imagine this for the other complicated HTML code, right? How it will build this document object model, all right? So what can we do to the DOM? Okay, now we have the document object model and so on, so on. Now what can we do with the DOM, all right? So we can change or remove the elements from the DOM. Say you didn't want the P element, okay, after a certain event has occurred, okay, when the website is running, then you can write code to remove that P, all right? Or, or to add a new, uh, say, an image element. Then what if you wanted to change or add the CSS property of the element, okay? So you can style the elements, you can add color, you can you can change the background color, you can change the font style, and you can you can set to whether to display the element or to hide the element, so on so on. Then you then you can read or change the element's attributes like the source, the alt the href so on so on so ta so the tags have their own attributes like like uh, for img you have src right and for all for img you have alt also and if, if you take anchor tag which is a you have href all right so you can you can read or you can change the element attributes now the fourth, po fourth point is you can attach event listeners to the elements and make them respond to events. Say for example, you want an image to disappear when user clicks on it, you can do that, okay? Or you want something else to happen when a button is clicked, you can do that. So those are event listeners. We will look about all of these in this course, so don't worry. And the fifth point is you can create a new element and insert it anywhere. All right, so say you want to create a new uh, say table element and dynamically populate it with all those uh, values. You can still do that, okay? So these are the possibilities with DOM which we can do. So all of these will be covered in this course and that is all. So see you guys in the next video. I hope you are as excited as I am. So see you in the next video.